Well, hello and welcome back. I am so glad that you're joining me today in reading the Bible together. If it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you for watching. We read a little bit of the Bible together each week. And to catch you up for where we were last time, we were introduced to and in reading about the families of Japheth, Ham, and Shem, who were the sons of Noah. This week we're going to learn about what some of them have been up to. We're going to be reading today a super interesting story about where all of our different languages come from. Very interesting. It's from the um, Bible in the book of Genesis chapter 10. Let's pray before we get started. Dear Lord, we pray to you in Jesus' name. Father, help us to understand your word, Lord, to learn more about you through it. Write it on our hearts and be living and active to, living and active to us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's get started. Turn to your Bibles. Go grab your Bible if you have one, but don't worry if you don't. That's what I'm here for. Hey, don't forget to grab your dog, your cat, your iguana. Get to a comfy space and tell your brother, your sister, your cousin to come join you. Don't worry if you don't have a Bible, though. I'm Pastor Amy. That's what I'm here for, and I'm going to be reading to you today from, again, the book of Genesis, chapter 10. We're going to be reading from verse one and we're only going to verse nine it's a short read but boy it's an incredibly huge thing going on here all kinds of stuff packed in this one little piece of this chapter so let's read all right the tower of babel now <clears throat> the whole world had one language and a common speech okay let's pause right there can you imagine if we all spoke the same language and all had the same sayings and the same manner of speech. How easy it would be to make friends and do things with everybody, wouldn't it? All right, let's get back to the story. Okay, as people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. And they said to each other, come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. And they used bricks instead of stone and tar for mortar. And then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. All right, again, let's pause there for just a second. Okay, did you hear what they said? They wanted to make a name for themselves. Now, that doesn't mean that they're just trying to make up a brand new name to call themselves. That's not what it meant. It meant that they were prideful and they wanted to be sure that their names, not God's, would carry on. And they wanted themselves to be well known and for their name to live forever by doing this super great thing. In a way, they wanted to outdo God himself. All right, back to the story. Here we are. All right, but the Lord came down to the city and the tower the people were building. He came down to see. And the Lord said, If as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. Hmm. All right. So let's imagine for a moment that you're working on building a Star Wars Lego set with your friends. And boom, all of a sudden, you guys are now speaking different languages. Languages that you have never even heard before. He's asking you for two gray bricks, but it sounds like, and even more than that, none of you can even read the instructions anymore because that's in a completely different language as well. It would be really, really hard, next to impossible, to continue building together, wouldn't it? All right, what else happens here? Okay, so the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city. That is why it is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. The exact thing that we they didn't want to happen, happened. What a fascinating story, isn't it? Next week, 
We'll dive more into Shem's family and we will be introduced for the very first time in the Bible, a man who all people on earth will be blessed by and we'll read about his incredible life in the weeks to come. I can't wait. See you guys next Wednesday and until then, stay in God's word.